commonly about a 63% a girl? Uh, I think it's like 6%. I was reading a comic book at that dog. It was really good. I think I had like chili cheese fries. <laughs> 6% most definitely. Oh, it's at 60. I was wrong. So it's the color that alarms me, and I think that applies for a lot of people as well. Yes, humans live with dinosaurs, but also have cell phones too. I have assurance that I'll be connected with the world and able to escape the world at the same time. Probably somewhere in the 80s. I don't, I don't think I felt really any particular way about it. My initial reaction is like, yay. But like that, yay, like yay, it's back on, I guess. I probably only get involved once a warning has been issued and I'm told that it's gonna be like shut down soon. So I guess, yeah. Once it gets to low power mode, I get a little a little antsy. Anything below 50% and I begin to get antsy. Um, yeah, 50% full set panic will go in around about 35. Probably about half, probably at 50%. Helpless. But uh, when it's like 98%, I start recharging straight away. It's like uh, death row, you know, any last meals that you want to get. And you're like, yeah, let me go on Facebook. <laughs> our Instagram <laughs> to see one last image or my email to see something happen before I be in the dark. But I don't have feelings I think I just do it, you know, I need to charge it or and sometimes I have the charge in the car so I charge it there and you know, sometimes there's a sense of anxiety if I don't have my phone charger on me and I know that I'm gonna have to eventually start frantically making new friends in order to acquire a phone charger and finding a plug and it's a whole scenario. It's, it's interesting to me like how ubiquitous they are and how easily and often you see them and then at the same time people actually don't want to catch our dreams at all. Like they're mostly looking to disregard them or like get rid of them as much as they can. So it was kind of like a contradiction in that. They tell you that you should charge your phone when it gets to about like halfway and not to charge it more than 80. I think then you just kind of face it and defeat. Then you know that you'll be able to charge, hopefully, your phone within the next following hours. 10% uh, or lower. I get mm. a little worried, yeah. <laughs> People are just like popping Molly on the caves. Still girl. <laughs> Scared. Well scared, and it always happens when I'm out and about and absolutely nowhere to plug the damn thing in. I'm like, oh, I need to charge it, so it's like, I don't know. It's like, yeah, 1%, I want to say, oh, I need to charge it sometimes. I'm, I live at charging all night, so when I look at the phone through the day, sometimes I say, oh, man, I'm I using all the... the the battery. Well, there's always baseline anxiety with your phone battery percentage, but I would say in the 30s. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a sense of like relief that the burden's no longer on me. It's like up to you know, source energy to uh, replenish what's been taken. And I think like I don't know, it's just one of those things where you're finally off the hook, so. A little anxious, mm -hmm. but, you know, it happens. <laughs> well, luckily, uh, the convenience of people not answering phones and, like, being delayed by, like, you know, the non-clingy rule of being business-like is cool, so, like, you don't have to worry, because you, know, you get, like, an hour or 30 minutes before somebody start responding, like, you're not re answering me back or whatever, you know, so. And then I start to close all the apps, and then uh, I realize I've got a million apps open, like the calculator and stuff that I used like a week ago. And, and, uh, and but there's like this low power mode now on, on iPhones that's good, that helps. Relieved and bored, because then I can't do anything with it for the next 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Like 30 something percent. I like to run it to the edge, but not too far. But the wire is so short that if I have to answer the phone, I have to kind of talk like a dwarf with my back banded, you know. 
I got a new phone because it was not charging and I bring it to the store and I bring it to another friend and he just said, they need you to clean it and they clean it and I said, oh, no, it's charging. Mm -hmm. That's, so it's like, I feel that my relationship with phones are, are funny. Um, I feel anxious and then embarrassed about that anxiety. Once you see it going red, you pretty much immediately think, I should probably plug this in, and it's usually around 15 to 20 percent. I'm not going to be back home for a while, and that kind of sucks, but it actually died the other day, but I was about to go back home, so it was cool. At the back of my mind, I realize I'm going to have to start altering the, the way that I uh, am existing in the world so that the phone takes precedence. Part of me feels responsible, and part of me blames whoever manufactured it to not keeping up to my lazy standards. Going um, to like two minute, uh, uh, two minute warning, two minute offense, you're like, all right, I want to answer the phone call when it's important about if I need to go somewhere or like a text message, right. you know, so you got to have like clock management because those phones still go out while you sit down. Eight <laughs> percent? I feel relief and then embarrassed about that relief. I, I like to plug it in when it's maybe around like 60 or something, just in case, you know, I'm going to have to need it later. It makes me feel like as if I may lose out on something important. So I immediately look for the nearest charger. I can understand the reason you don't want to be cut off from the rest of the world. 